Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to take a look at installing the Ecobee driver for uh, Control 4 Systems by Blackboard Designs. Um, first thing we want to do is make sure that we're logged in to our Ecobee account, uh, either for us or for our client. Uh, make sure that we can get to this page, um, that we have, uh, we have the thermostats installed, everything's already set up. See, I've got the one thermostat named downstairs here, um, and that's going to come into play later so just keep an eye on what you name it um, and then we just need to be able to get over here to this menu and into the apps my app section uh, later on so just make sure you're logged in uh, make sure you have either the customer login for you or um, you have the login credentials to get into this uh, so we can we can pair up the driver with the Ecobee uh, web server so let's go ahead and take a look at the driver itself um, you want to install the drivers in your driver folder and then type in Ecobee to search for them. You'll see two drivers here. Uh, first is the Ecobee network and then the Ecobee thermostat. Uh, let's go ahead and install the Ecobee network into our project. Let that load up. And then we're going to go ahead and end in the uh, Ecobee thermostat. Now that those drivers are loaded in, let's go ahead and go to the settings on the Ecobee network. Now you can see here that um, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and put in our license key. I'm just going to copy this directly from the uh, email that was sent to me from the Blackwire website when I purchased the, uh, the driver. And the license will be verified. Um, the next thing you need to do is get a pin code from Ecobee uh, to pair this driver with their uh, their servers. And that's pretty easy to do. Just go over to the actions here, click request pin, and then go back to properties. And you'll see that that field there, pin code, has been replaced by this four-digit code. Just go ahead and copy that or write it down. Um, and then what we need to do is go over to the uh, Ecobee website, go over into the menu here, go to My Apps, add application and then what we want to do is put in the uh, the pin code that the Ecobee servers gave us click validate add application and you'll see Blackwire control 4 driver is on here um, the, everything's installed when we go back over to the driver um, you can see that it's it's still waiting to be authorized this can take up to 30 45 seconds so just kind of sit back relax wait for it to, to get updated Okay, and once you see the driver update and uh, the information say pulling e Ecobee network, this driver has been activated. So um, it's downloaded all the thermostat information and it's ready to go. The next thing we need to do is to go over to bindings and connect these two together. Um, and it's pretty easy. Uh, we'll just go to the Ecobee network and you'll see here we have a downstairs uh, control option. And uh, that's named directly after thermostat that we, uh, we have installed in our Ecobee setup. So let's go ahead and drag that over to the Ecobee thermostat um, to bind those two together. Let's go check our bindings on the Ecobee thermostat here. Um, that's bound to the master uh, network driver. And then we've got everything uh, set up where it, it's, it's bound to all the rooms that it needs to be in, which is great. So uh, let's go take a look at the, the network driver uh, one more time. It looks good. Let's take a look at the thermostat. Now the thermostat name's been named downstairs. Uh, here's the thermostat ID. Uh, that Ecobee, uh, it's like the serial number that Ecobee has, and it's showing that it's online. All we need to do now is uh, click Refresh Navigators uh, to tell Navigators that everything um, has been done. So let's go ahead and wait for Control 4 to update Navigators here, and uh, we should be able to see uh, here in the family room our thermostat. And there is the Ecobee thermostat, and uh, everything's in here. Uh, you can see that the controls that need to be here are automatically populated. So I, I don't have a uh, humidity control. Uh, I don't have a humidistat. Uh, so that's that's not going to be available here. Under extras, you can switch back and forth, or the, the end user could even switch back and forth uh, between temperature selection. So uh, keep that in mind when you set these up. Uh, that's how it works. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, contact us over at orders at blackwiredesigns.com. Thanks very much.